Hey everyone, uh, welcome or welcome back to LDTV. I want to talk to you guys about one more thing today. Uh, and I decided to break this up into three videos because if not, it'd be like this huge, massive video. Um, and it kind of pads out my, my channel a little bit. And I want a lot of videos on my channel because it looks very bland and bare right now and I don't like it. So, what is it? Yes, I want to talk to you guys about Dream Recall which is huge. It's how well you remember your dreams, or if you remember your dreams. I started out not remembering my dreams at all. I couldn't remember a thing. Nothing. Zero dream recall. Nothing whatsoever. Sucked. Hated it. Um, and you'd be amazed at the kind of stuff you dream about. It's weird. It's interesting. So how do you in increase dream recall? How do you increase and why? Um, well, why would be without Dream Recall, how do you expect to remember to become lucid if you can't remember your dreams? How do you expect to remember a lucid dream, even if you have one, if you can't recall your regular dreams? So that's why. I mean, Dream Recall is big. It's important. It's a huge thing. How do you increase it? Pretty simple. Keep your dream journal. Keep one. Do one every morning when you wake up. You're fast asleep. You wake up. And for me, I roll over. I grab my iPod. Here, actually. I'll do that right now. I grab my iPod. It's right here. Isn't it pretty? Look at my pretty. That's not a background. Yeah, my background says, are you dreaming? It's a reality check for me. Um... Wow, my iPod's almost dead. Uh, yes, that's not what I want to look at. There you go, that's my, um, let's see if you can see that. That's my, it's my dreams. It's all my dreams. Uh, since I've been using my iPod. And I mean, it's a lot, it's a lot of dreams thus far. I haven't always used my iPod, I used a notebook when I was in my formative days. Um, but yeah, that's what I do. I, I, I'm fast asleep, I wake up, and I grab my iPod, and I click it on, and I do my reality check when I open it up, because I think you should always have a daily reminder to do a reality check, no matter what it is. Put it on something that you use constantly. A reality check is my password for my computer. Not the words reality check, I'm not going to give you my password, but... I'm talking too fast again. But something that reminds me to do a reality check is my password for my computer. Um, but yeah, there we go. Yep, can you see that? There you go. Are you dreaming? I love it. It's just beautiful. Oh uh, yeah, roll over. I do my reality check in the morning. You know, because you should always do a reality check in the morning, by the way. And then type in my dream, close it, lock it, throw it aside, and go back to sleep. And it's always right on my bed, right next to me. So if you want to do that, if you want to copy from me, do it. Feel free to copy anything I say. Beautiful thing. Beautiful piece of technology. Um, and it'll correct a lot of uh, misspelled words, which is handy, because... When I'm half asleep, I'm not. I don't know what Glyphorgan means. I don't know what that is. But it'll. My nifty little iPod will change it to, you know, giraffe or whatever. So that's one way to do it. iPod, good. Pen and paper, also good if you have decent penmanship. Um, online dream journal, good. Very good. I keep one at Lucid Base in the description. Um, DJ.com. And yeah, dream journals, big for dream recall. Also, important, um, every morning, I grab my iPod to type in my dream. Before I do, before I do, I wake up a decent amount. I hit my iPod. Mm. Before I do, I wake up a decent amount, and I close my eyes. And I think about my dream. I don't, like, you know, slap myself in the face and splash water on, you know. No, I'm just... I'm laying there, and I'm, I'm, I kind 
of just shake myself awake a little bit. I really focus on what I was dreaming. I really try to remember what I was dreaming. That can give you a lot more detail. It really helps dreaming call. Lay there. Do it for two minutes. You wake up, and you go over your dream for about two minutes. And you write down just the first three things that come to mind. Just So you're laying there, and you're thinking, and you're thinking, and you're thinking, and you grab your iPod, and you open it up, and you go to notes, and you go, okay... Giraffe in the driver's seat of a Ford Mustang. Okay, and there's where you start. All right, that's just you're closing your eyes, and it helps. It really does, and it sounds weird, but just lay there for two minutes when you wake up. Giraffe in the driver's seat of a Ford Mustang. Where are we going? A lumber yard to pick up wood to build a bunk bed for him and his brother. There we go. That's what you're dreaming about. Congratulations. Or, here, I'll actually read you some. That I did recently. Um, so I'm laying in bed, and I wake up. Oh, here we go. I wake up and I close my eyes for about two minutes, and I'm thinking, I'm, thinking, I'm staying awake. I'm just thinking. I'm trying to remember this dream. Okay, what was it? I was being chased by Slenderman and Freddy Krueger. That's like my thesis. That's the first thing I write down. Being chased by Slenderman and Freddy Krueger. Okay. Um, okay, who's with me? Uh, there's a pretty blonde lady. I have a pretty blonde partner. And some blonde guy. So two blonde people. They're there. Okay. What are we doing? Uh, we have to put stones in a monument in the town to keep Slender Man from rising and taking over the town. Okay. So that's what we're doing. That's our goal. To put these stones in this monument. Um, okay, what are some other things that just pop into your head? What are some things that were in this dream? Uh... This guy, the blonde guy's dad, doesn't like him doing this. I let's see. Kruger pulls me into a dream and he tries to torture me. Uh, uh, I won. I kicked his ass with a giant, um, with sword, with clouds, giant, massive sword. Anyone? Final Fantasy? No. Um, yeah, I killed him with a giant sword. And that just happens to be a dream that I got lucid in. At some point, it was kind of lucid. Uh, so, let's see another one. There we go. I didn't become lucid at all on this one. I woke up, I rolled over, and I closed my eyes. And I typed in, met the president. First thing, met the president. Um, what else? What were you doing? I, I ate Chinese, and I played a drum, and I drank wine. I walked around Springfield. Anything else that you remember? Um, the president was really annoyed. And from that, even right now, I mean, I, I wrote this a while ago, a few weeks ago, I guess. On the 24th, it's the 5th. So, not a huge time ago, but long enough. And from this, I remember what the drum looked like. I remember what which president it was. It was Mitt Romney, which is funny because I hate Mitt Romney. I think he's an idiot. Uh, not an idiot. No, he's intelligent, but I don't like him as a president. That's all. Um, he's an intelligent person. Don't let anyone say different. He's smart. He's just I don't want him as president. So I'm talking to Mitt Romney, and I ate. Um, not sure if you've ever had them, but they're uh, chicken on a stick. Did you go to Chinese restaurants? It's like teriyaki chicken, and it's chicken on a stick. It's what it is. And that's what I was eating. Um, and it was white meat chicken, by the way. Uh, I played a drum. The drum was a Chinese ceremonial drum with holes in the in the leather, in the in the in the drum part, the skin that's pulled over the the actual round cylindrical drum. So there were holes in that, and you hit them, and it made like a 
tinging sound. Ting, 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 ting. That makes me think of, uh, not reggae, but, um, well, no, I guess reggae works. Jamaican, like, yeah. Um, the wine I drank was red. It was a red wine. It was very good. Uh, a little dry, but good. Walked around Springfield. I didn't really do much. I walked into a yard, I think. Uh, my house's yard, or a house that was mine that I walked into the yard. And I annoyed the president because I kept being kind of insulting because I didn't like him as president. <laughs> so yeah, that's, like, I remember so much of this dream from just the little sentences that I wrote down. It's, it's next to nothing that I wrote down. But it's, it's the act of, look at that, it's next to nothing. It's the act of sitting there for two minutes and trying to recall all this stuff. And it, you're physically putting this memory of your dream into storage. You're putting it into your long-term memory. And Link's not in my picture anymore. Oh, no. Um, and that's important. Dream recall is huge. Without working on a dream recall, you're not going to be able to become lucid. It, it, it's difficult as it is. Uh, you have to remember to become lucid. One, and that that relies on memory. And you have to remember the dream after you woke up. So you have to get your brain used to committing this stuff to your long-term memory. And I do that by closing my eyes and laying there for two minutes. Two minutes out of your day. That's all that takes. That's not a lot of time. And then it takes you maybe a minute to write it down. And there you go. Three minutes out of your day. And something I do, it takes up no time at all, is I keep the dream, whatever I wrote down, I keep it in my head all day. All day. All day. I keep that dream in my head. Right now I'm thinking about my dream that I had last night. While I'm talking, I'm thinking about it. Where... Um, it wasn't me, I was just an observer, really. And this guy, we were at a game show, and this guy won a, uh, tiger cage. He didn't win a tiger, he won the tiger habitat. At, like, a, uh, let's make a deal type game show. I don't know, really, why. And I, I wrote it down, actually. He won something else. Well, see, this is what you do. If you forget something, you go back, you look, and he won a tiger and a red box. He won a tiger cage, a cage of a tiger, and he won a red box. Like, a red box. Like, DVD dispensary machine. He won it. That's weird. But I didn't check to see if it was a dream, which is stupid of me. Dream recall is huge, and you have to work on it. Because if you don't, you're not going to remember your lucid dreams or your regular dreams. What else? Oh, yeah. Um, dream signs. There are things that happen in dreams that are kind of recurring. For me, it's Roseanne. If Roseanne pops up in my dream. I'm going to do a reality check. Uh... And you only remember those dream signs if you write them down in a dream journal. That's important. Dream journal. Huge. This is really more of a dream journal um, video than a dream recall video. But it's massive. Dream recall and dream journaling. Huge. There are some pills you can take. Not pills, not like drugs. But, like, B12 and B6 are supposed to really help. With Dream Recall, there's, um, some herbs. I don't think it helps too much. But, I mean, that's me. I, I might try them at some point. I might do an experiment, and that'll be in the link. Come back. Um, and that'll be in a Lucid Labs video, but... Yeah, so Dream Recall. Work on it, do it to it. And you guys, comment, rate, subscribe, and you have yourselves a nice day. Dream on.